Now to the latest on the toxic train derailment in East Palestine tonight. The Ohio EPA is reporting that some 6.3 million gallons of liquid wastewater has been hauled out of the derailment area. And there's currently a pile of nearly 28,000 tons of excavated soil waiting for removal from that site. Also, independent contractors have been hired to pressure wash the underground culverts off of the sulfur run. That should help eliminate the lingering chemical smell in some areas. We also want to let you know that Governor DeWine's office reports that water sample results from private water systems in East Palestine continue to show no harmful levels of contaminants. Meanwhile, Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost filed a lawsuit against the railroad company today, calling the derailment entirely avoidable. He says this step will ensure that Norfolk Southern keeps its promise to do what's right. Our Bree Buckley has the latest. The company has repeatedly said that it wants to make it right. Our lawsuit is designed to make sure that they keep their promise. The state of Ohio now taking legal action against Norfolk Southern following the toxic train derailment in East Palestine. Attorney General Dave Yost announcing a 58-count complaint filed Tuesday accusing the rail company of numerous violations to state and federal environmental laws, including hazardous waste, water and air pollution control, as well as overall negligence. The suit also prohibits any disposal of contaminated waste on site, and requires the company to conduct future soil and water monitoring. We're seeking injunctive relief, uh, civil penalties, costs, damages, court costs, uh, and maybe more importantly, a declaratory judgment that Norfolk Southern is responsible. Yost claims the rail company's accident rate has increased by 80% over the last decade, with roughly 20 derailments since 2015 involving chemical spills. Norfolk Southern released a statement in response to the lawsuit, saying in part that it is making progress every day to clean the site safely and thoroughly, and is listening closely to community concerns about long-term impacts from the derailment, working with Yost's office on plans to develop additional programs to address health impacts, home values, and drinking water. We will not draw back, we will not give up, we will not surrender, but we will end in a place where there is justice for the people, for the economy, and for the environment. Reporting in Cleveland, Bree Buckley, 3 News.